So I spent um, several hours out here yesterday grinding off the ends of these rusted bolts. And I thought maybe today if I could get most of the structure demolished, then I would, I would be open to being able to finish up putting these last, uh, these last snap jackets onto the pilings and I could finish up with some mixed cement and so on and so forth. So I, I want to get this uh, dock back to my, my friend also. I don't want him to, I mean, he, he told me to use it as long as you want, but I just, I like it so much. I, I'm going to build myself one and I'm going to put it over there, I think, so that I can launch kayaks and stuff like that. This will be for the boat, this will be for little boats, and then over there will be for kayaks, which this goes up and down, you only have a, you're only a foot off the water for kayaks. So.
there's a little plume of uh, um, cement in the water. I imagine part of that is the overflow from the, the bag, but part of it is uh, a little bit of leakage with the, the water mixed on the key that slides down the side. And there may be a little bit at the bottom too where it could escape somewhat, but basically the the uh, cement is heavier than water. It's a solid and it's displacing the water. So I'm going to put one more bag in there. So the plan is then, this is just water at the top. When that cement sit, sits, sets up, when the, the uh, cement sets up, um, I'll eventually probably cut off the top few inches of this, which will be the width of a, one of these rafters, which is uh, about seven and a half inches plus the thickness of the um, decking, which is about an inch, five quarter is an inch. So that's uh, eight and a half inches down from here to the top here. And then the new rafters will sit on top of this. I'm actually gonna put, um, there'll be at least another bag of cement in here, which, you know, solid with, with brackets in the cement. So anyway, that's the plan. All right. <clears throat> Around pretty much. It's a little bit tight on this side, I think, but we're not gonna move it now. It's too tight. All right, we're gonna put one more bag in here. And then this one is done. <clears throat> I think that the hydraulic pressure for the that is the, the weight of the water inside uh, actually pushes against this member or this uh, key and seals it. And what I did by pounding it is I just opened that seal up a little bit and let some of that water out. So now you can see the water level has dropped in there. Well, still, all good. All right. This board here is captured. I think I'm gonna to have to cut it in order to get it out because, well, maybe if I can drive, no. The, uh, that was placed in there, then they bored the holes. And so it's captured this way here, captured that way there and there. Um, I know that up north they use, uh, they add salt to cement to shorten the set time, I think it is. I, I can't remember now. I have to look it up. But in some instances they add sugar, which lengthens the set time or vice versa. And then salt to make it go the other way. 
but it, I don't have a choice. This is just salt water and this will set up and this will be solid concrete around wooden pilings and hopefully this will outlast me. <laughs> It's just the afternoon now. I'm, I was a little tired, but I thought I would mark these for where I need to cut them. Um, so I want the finished dock to be at the height of the seawall. Um, and the material is this, these are the old ones, but the new ones are the same thing, so so they're uh, about seven and a half inches. And the old boards, regardless of what kind of material you use, but the old boards that were 
on the seawall. This is called five quarter, but the deck boards, these are a little bit more than an inch. Um, I, that might just be because of the swelling over the course of time. But if you get any kind of new, new lumber, it's called five quarter and it's actually, it measures one inch thick. So we have the seven and a half plus one inch is eight inches. Yeah, I'm sorry, eight and a half inches. Seven and a half plus one inch is eight and a half inches. So I came over here to the seawall and I measured down eight and a half inches and I marked it there and I marked it over here on the other side of this bucket. Then, in order to get, uh, to transfer that distance to any place around, you can use a water level. This is a, this is very simple. I took a jug. You can use anything that you can stick a, a, a tube into, but I took a jug and I took a piece of, uh, this is 25 feet or 20 feet of vinyl hose, and then I have another 20, 20 feet of slightly smaller hose that I stuck into the end of it, tubing. And then I, I put a bunch of water into the, into the jug. I put uh, a couple of drops of uh, food coloring, but you can use anything you have around. You could use Kool-Aid even, just to give the, the water a little color. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to do that. It's just, I, I find that it's easier if you put a little uh, coloring in there because you want to be able to see that easily when you're out and about. Okay, so you fill the, the jug up with, to some level, it doesn't really matter where, but to some level with water, and you stick the tube down in the bottom of it. So this is just a reservoir. And then you you have to align the, the upper height of the water line that's in your jug with the line that you want to establish for your height. So that, that's our eight and a half inches. So I wanted that line in the jug to line up with the eight and a half inches so that's what I did and then um, you you allow the tube to lower down and the water will run out of your your jug into the tube now understand that you're going to be drawing water away from your reservoir so your height might have to change and you might have to add a little bit of water or you might have to adjust the height of your jug it doesn't really matter what you do and then that tube just happens to go, it's dropped into the water, it really doesn't matter where it is, but it goes there and it comes out on the side of the dock over here. And you can see the pink inside. And wherever this tube happens to be, the water in there will be at the same level as your jug, no matter where you go with it. So if you hold that up against your your uh, pilings and wait for that water to come back it's sloshing back and forth a little bit before it settles out but there's your there's the height of your water the height that you've assigned over there with the jug so I just marked it there I marked it there I marked it over here I marked it over here I have to get out to these or I'm kind of tied up a little bit funny I marked it over here I marked it there and you can see I messed up a couple of times and had to remark it because I had it in the wrong location I had it a little bit too low because the water had leaked out of my jug and I'd, I'd taken a little bit too much into this tube but I'm going to do the same thing there and there and of course if I pull my floating dock up the way to over there I'll have the same situation because that water will come along for the ride at the same height, just like that. Here it is. And I'll hold it up against there and I'll mark that and I'll mark that. These are gonna, the four on the, the boat lift are gonna stay. I don't care how high they are. But these, my, my, um, the rafters for the, the, the deck will actually be sitting on top of these now. So I need to cut those so that they're flush to the height that I want and then add my rafter at seven and a half inches and my decking at one inch and then that will be all the same height as the uh the seawall all the way so i've got to mark those out there mark these here and mark these two over here and then tomorrow <clears throat> right now it's uh i'm tired i i i finished without a i finished doing these one two three uh well, I, did, I finished doing them all today, and I, the, earlier today. That one's a little f verklempt, a little, little cockeyed. I gotta do 
whatever. It's it's not going anywhere. It is what it is. What it is. It's there. It's it's, it's biased to one side just a little bit. Anyway, um, so that's what I'm up to. But I thought the water level would be an interesting thing to see. And you can do this incidentally, like if you're hanging pictures in a room and you want all the pictures to be at the same height or whatever, you can set your jug up on a ladder in the middle of the room and walk around with your with your tube. Or you can set a, like if you want to do a, a drop ceiling, you know, and you want everything to be right. This is ab absolutely as accurate as a, as a laser. And it's a lot cheaper. It's, you know maybe ten dollars for the tubing I don't, I don't remember what i paid for it but it's cheap and, a, and an empty jug you know i mean a milk carton uh, uh you know clorox bottle whatever you know so anyway so that's uh that's how you get your marks on all the all the things and then tomorrow i'm gonna very carefully mark around it with using a level and now now i know the right height relative to the wall and then i'll use a level to um, make the the mark around the outside of it and cut it with a, a saber saw so that it's nice and clean and I'm going to fill those with cement and and inset the mixed cement not just not just the, the dry like I, I've been doing but I'll, I'll um, actually mix up cement put it in there so that I have a, a mix ready and I'll put those those brackets in there uh, in line in order to support the rafters that I'm going to be using so okay so that's where I am I'm just going to mark the rest of these and you can see I mean it works pretty good huh all right, so that's how you do it.